So, Friday we're playing Worcester. What are your expectations of the game, how it's going to be? Obviously it's a home game, big crowd again. Uh, what are you expecting? Um, always expecting Worcester to be a tough one. They're third in the league, I think, at the moment. So, um, yeah, just hopefully a big crowd, like you said, and uh, we'll, we'll get that win. You said, obviously, they're third in the league. Uh, they had some really good games um, against Newcastle and they beat Manchester by 13. Um, obviously, last week we beat Manchester, um, but Worcester are always a bit different. What do you think it's going to be like with them travelling instead of you this time? Um, I mean, they're a good team, like you said. Uh, I don't think travelling to the game is going to really affect them that much, so we've just got to be ready ready to go. Um, we're pushing for a playoff spot, so we've got to, we've got to play like that. They've got a new signing this week, a new guard. He's been described as a versatile scoring playmaker, averaging 16.7 points a game and roughly five assists. How do you think this is going to affect the team dynamics? I'm sure it'll be. I'm sure it'll be great for them. Uh, Worcester tend not to make bad signings, so um, yeah, I'm expecting him to be uh, effective as soon as he comes into the game. So uh, we just got to play him just how we we expected to play anyone. So it's going to be it's going to be a tough one, but we'll get that win hopefully. Worcester on Friday, they've got a big interior. How is the team going to deal with that? You know, I hope, uh, well, I mean, first thing is we have to limit all their uh, second chance opportunities um, and try and get some of our own. So I think it just comes down to, uh, you know, how hard we're willing to work from the start of the game to uh, the end of the game. Just every minute counts, every rebound counts, every uh, possession is precious. So we just got to treat it, um, treat it like every possession counts and uh, just go out there and do what we do. Offensively, obviously, they've got a strong interior. Has there been anything you've been working on this week in training to try and isolate that and uh, shut it down? Uh, I mean, we're always working on defensive stuff to, um, you know, scout the other team. You know, we've been watching film. We've been, you know, seeing a lot of their sets. Um, but I don't think they do anything that's, you know, incredibly tricky or special. It's a lot of just, um, you know, simple action that gets, you know, their players in, in positions to score. So, really, it's just about us, uh, you know, playing like hard-nosed basketball. I think. And uh, once we get the steal, once we get the rebound, once we get the turnover, whatever it is, we got to run. We got to uh, compete and make them play at our pace. Um, you know, whether that's slowing it down to manage the clock or whether it's speeding up to, uh, to take advantage of the situation. They've got a new signing, Jordan Aaron. Um, obviously, you're going to get matched up against him. Um, what are you expecting? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've just come into my league. I've just come into this league myself. So, uh, you know, I know how hard it is to initially kind of, you know, break your way into a team and, and make changes and then uh, try and add to the table. So. Um, you know, I don't think they can expect too much from him this week, but I, I just know that, you know, as, as a guard, he's coming in to try and prove himself right away. So we got to take it seriously. Um, you know, every, every time I match up with a, a guard in this league, I want to prove that um, I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. So I'm looking forward to playing against uh, another guard, uh, you know, another new guard and, and kind of testing myself. Big game on Wednesday, pushing for a playoff spot. What have you been working on in training to shut down the threats? Uh, I mean, Worcester are one of the more well-balanced teams in the in the league. I think their forward line uh, matches up well with ours. You know, you're looking at uh, Blackwell, you're looking at Eves and Lasonsky. Um, that's a great matchup for Zach and and for Clay and and for Rob. Ultimately, they're great on the glass. Um, Blackwell's a tough matchup for for anyone in the league. I think we have to negate that uh, by throwing our forward line at him. I think the perimeter is uh, very very strong. Um, you know they've got Khan, Kusinard, um, Lufadesh, who's awesome as a domestic. Uh, I think he's come on leaps and bounds in the last couple of years. In, in reality, we've got to try and dictate the tempo of the game. If we do that, if we if we're precious with our own possessions and secure more off the glass, on the floor, wherever that may be, we'll be in good we'll be in good shape. Talking about rebounding there, we've had Rob, Clay, and Arms at putting some really really good uh, performances over the last couple of weeks, specifically at home. Um, how do you think they're going to deal with that pressure? I mean, ultimately, um, I think you'll ask any one of them, they're going to go to glass whoever's there. Uh, and I think that's the type of mindset you have to have against uh, someone like uh, Blackwell, against Lasonsky. Um, I mean, I'm more concerned about them right now, displacing them in terms of the offence, not allowing them in the areas where they operate the best. Um, you know, anything around the basket, uh, Paris is going to going to be finishing if he's if he's given any sort of advantage in terms of space and time. If you if you allow Lasonsky to flow and and and, and plays mid-range game it's dangerous.